What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Doing 2019 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball 12 box case break. Pick your teams number six. So, we did have a high end teams in a team random that we just did. Yankees all the way down to the Marlins. There's a list for that, the way it played out. And then here's the list as well. And I do have it printed out right here. So there you go. Little arrow sign pointing up, or like a little. Uh, that means that they got it in the team random. There you go. All the way down to the non baseball format. And here's the case. Good luck. I think this may be the last case we're gonna get, guys. We've had a little restock since the release on Wednesday. Got two more this weekend, but I think that was gonna be it, guys. Again, if we can get more, we're definitely gonna do it. But I know sometimes it's always harder to get, and then again, there's always new products coming out. So if we do get some, you guys will see it on the website. If we don't, there's always some new stuff popping up. There you go. All 12 boxes. Let's rip this. Allen and Ginter. Very nice case we had earlier. So hoping we could uh, replicate similar to what we pulled earlier in the day. There you go. Oversized box topper. All the way down to the empty box. All right, you guys, good luck. Oh, first box is the hot box. Like a gold border. Wow, those are cool hats. Tampa Bay Rays hats. Literally have a stingray on their hat. All right, good luck, guys. First box. Jensen Mini. And we'll look at all the minis in the back just in case there's a numbered card mini at the end. The very box. And the first relic is Hap. Ian Hap for the Cubs. Jim with that one. Moncada. There you 
go. Nicholas and Nolan Arenado. French Bulldog. Alright, last box here. Then we'll open up the box loader topper, box topper. And we got a Ozzy Smith bat relic for St. Louis. St. Louis Cardinals. Rick Thomas. There you go. No, G Lo, but I do want to. We just started this case, so. So hopefully some Post Malone here. But the last case we did, man, was nuts. Nuts. A couple glass cards. Uh, the box loader rip card of Bryce Harper. A couple of, like, non-sport autographs. Including, like, the sister. It's pretty crazy. All right, and let's open up the box loader card. Labor Torres. No, Gilo, I wanted to, but Scott was here earlier, actually. He said he was debating it, but he uh, sells for a little too much to kind of got to think about it twice, you know? They sell for, like, between four to $500, I think he said. So, I don't blame him. Nobody's nobody's been wanting to rip their cards though. What we're gonna have to do in the future if we ever get more cases in the item description say if it's numbered 75 or more we're gonna rip <laughs> if it's like under 75 you can debate you can choose so that way we can see some rip cards right It's like what? I didn't see that. Be like, hey, it's an item description, right? It's an item description. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way we're gonna see one now, I guess. That's even if we ever get any more Ginter. Actually, I don't even know if we ever are gonna get more. Hope so though. Ginter's always fun to rip. What the hell, man? It's not even a rip card. You're like, oh, sh sorry. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's right. Just rip any cards that have a rip card. If we want to just rip a card, we can. At your own risk, you buy into the figure team. All right, next box. Shih Tzu. Ozzy Albies. Atlanta. EA, it's in the game. What's going on, man? Where's the good, where are the good breaks? They're on the website, I guess. I guess Allen and is not good. <laughs> it's just too long, right? Uh, Elements Football, guys, is one I'd like to do if we can still do it tonight. The uh, only thing holding us back is the team random uh, to win the Cardinals and a lot of other bigger teams. If we can fill that up by the time I get done with this break, we'll break it open tonight. Remember, our time is changing now, our schedule. We are now breaking from 2 to 10 p.m. Pacific. Uh, so 5 to 1 a.m. Eastern. So I've been streaming for six and a half hours pretty much. I started right at like 2.05. So we only got about an hour and a half left. But again, you guys know me. If you guys are filling up breaks, we can break it. Even if we were to fill it by 10 o'clock. But I'd like to fill it up beforehand. That'd be nice. Hillary Knight. Well, what do you like, EA? Do you do you specific sport? Do you like football? That'll go to non-sport. Or you just don't like elements. I mean, there's other breaks we can do. Uh, I think Leaf Ultimate Football is close. It's pretty much halfway there. You're guaranteed a hit. Siberian Husky. But of course, as you can see on the website, there's a lot of options. And of course, according, uh, including a certified football pre-orders for Wednesday. Ichiro, Lester, and Rosario. Mets. Zara, Fisk. Martinez. Nice catching. You can do some jerseys as well, guys. A lot of people talked about the jersey breaks. We're almost close to filling up that Fanatics promo. I think that one only needed about 15 spots. Every Sunday, bro, like, uh, every Sunday looks like from now on, Nick has been on it, where pre-orders for uh, new releases of, of the week of Chris Bryant are going to be starting on Sunday. So definitely got to get ready for that, man. Even if there's no email blast sent, just be ready every Sunday morning. Might even be Saturday night, to be honest. But it looks like that's what Nick's going to start doing. Uh, I'm not sure EA that's the way Nick did it, but uh, I think it helps both breaks out. So um, I think that's I think that's probably one of the major major reasons why he did it that way. I mean, I don't really post the breaks. You know, me and Joe just kind of <laughs> sell whatever's on the website. Nick's the one that thinks of the breaks. Woo wow, we got a rip card. We got another box topper rip card or box loader card inside. Damn. <laughs> Put that right there. All right, guys. Please let me rip this, whoever has that card. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, we can do five. So if uh, num number five is already sold out, man. So uh, all we're waiting for is actually that uh, team random. That's the only one we're waiting for. So that's why I was saying like, elements can go. It's down to 11. This is going to unlock the elements football break Pikachu number five. So the break is sold out straight up. We also sold out another team random as well for number five and six. So all we have to do is sell out that one right there uh, to sell to win the Cardinals, Redskins, Broncos, Giants. And then we can do the 
We can do the break. I know, man. I'm gonna screw it, right? Just lose my job over this, right? You guys don't need me, anyways, right? <laughs> it's like, ah, we never liked you, Jason. Just rip it. Come on, please. All right. Yeah, well, certified can't break till Wednesday, though, man. It doesn't release till Wednesday. I don't even think we're going to get it till Wednesday. Um, man. All right, who's actually here that's a part of this break that's watching? Please tell me, if I pull this rip card for you, are you going to allow me to rip it? <laughs> I need a show of hands. I know there's not many people watching right now. Garrett, uh, we may have, we may do more Black Gold football on eBay. You just gotta check it out. You should, you should uh, like us as a seller. So, <laughs> Bill's like, I'm here and no. <laughs> um, you should like us as a seller and just kind of stock our, our, our uh, auctions that we have, Garrett. But. Um, we have another case of the back, so I'm not sure if we're posting it for eBay or not. Man, you guys are no fun. Nah, I don't blame you guys. Okay, what about a little rip card? What about that one, at least? There's going to be at least two of those. So what if, like, I hit you the big triple and then I hit you one small one? That's, like, out of 75. Depends on the player, okay. That's, that's not a no, so I'll take that. Better rather than get denied. All right, Blue Jays. Doesn't smoke. <laughs> nah, I don't blame you guys. It's all good. Maybe you guys want to rip it yourselves, too. So. It's just that everybody here has just been dying to see a rip card, so. Just want to see if we can pull one. Yes, Optic is at four, but if you notice the team random that's next to it, so that would also need to sell two EA. So a lot of these breaks are really close or already sold out. It's just that they're tied into a team random. So like Optic's at four, like I would love to do that, but we also need to sell this breakout, which is at 14. So, I mean, regardless of guys, I'll be back tomorrow too. So if we can't fill anything up after this, I'm sure those element, optic, all those other breaks will fill tomorrow. And we got an autograph of Nemo for the Mets. Uh, mini framed autograph, Brandon Nemo for the Mets. Richard Zitterman, there you go. Hamels, Perez, oh nice boombox, you, you looked up your, your players, that's good man, yeah, well that's the one thing guys, regardless even if like you got the Marlins right, in the team random, I think I hit a very nice Marlins autograph, framed mini autograph in the last break, so just because you, you, know, you may think you're going to get the worst team, in uh, this Allen Ginter, there's just so many different hits you can get out of here. So, regardless of even rip cards, you can get all that stuff. So, Allen Ginter, there's not too many bad teams just because of the chances of rip cards. Herrera for the Phillies. I cannot believe this is his real like beard, it's crazy. All right, anybody want to try to call the rip card what players are going to be? I don't know how many oversized top box topper rip cards they have, but I think uh, 
Boo Box definitely got his name. Uh, yes, EA. Very, very well, man. It, it does. There's a lot of very serious Allen and Ginter collectors that love this set every single year. And they'll collect all the framed mini autographs, all the framed... Um, all the framed jerseys and stuff like that. I even had one customer on eBay tell me that he specifically buys into Ginter because he knows a collector that sells, that collects all rip cards. He creates the whole set of every rip card made every year. I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, that is a, <laughs> that is nuts. So he collects all rip cards and he has them unripped. So he's working on this year's set. So anytime he gets a rip card, he just sells it to him because he'll pay good money. I'm like, Tch. And we got a numbered one. There we go. Do Dressel. That is numbered. Looks like an 8. 8 of 25. That'll go to the non-sport. Yeah, just like just like Bowman's first autographs. Yeah, there's, there's some... Bowman collectors are pretty serious, and so are... Uh, so are the Ginter. Yes, and then also, people do even buy the rip cards open. And sometimes, depending on the player, they still sell pretty well. Like the rip card may sell for like a hundred bucks, but you may sell it, you know, ripped open for like twenty five thirty. So it's like sometimes it's actually worth it just to rip because you never know what you're gonna get out of there. And then if anything, you can still sell the rip card. Which is crazy. All right, moment of truth, guys. Let's take a look at this. Good luck. We pulled a Bryce Harper box loader rip card earlier. Let's see who this is. Bill's going to say Vlad. Oh, it's a Houston Astros. Jose Altuve, and it's card number one of 65. Rip it or keep it if you dare, but this card open to discover uh rip this card open to discover three collectible exclusive mini cards embedded inside you have a chance to get stained glass parallels and two of the following mini parallels wood mini parallel um mini metal parallel a red ink mini autograph and a one-of-a-kind sketch card so it looks like two cards would be right here one card will be right there There you go. Yeah. So there you go. All right, so who's an Astros? Who's that? Walter. There you go, man. Walter. I don't know if you're watching, Walter. I don't know if you have... If you have the... Uh, if you're down to do this, though. <laughs> Let me know. I would love to rip it for you, but... That's a tough one. All right, next one. Remember, we still have two rib cards inside of these boxes somewhere. They say two on average. Uh, obviously, the oversized ones definitely sell for much more. I believe they sell between three to five hundred dollars. So I don't always blame customers for not ripping it open. That's a good amount of money to definitely buy back into breaks or, you know, use that money for whatever you need to use it for. But if you guys do want to rip it, let me know. But hopefully we can get one customer in here to, like, let me open a rip card at least. <laughs> it's not me, EA. I can't just rip open a card that's not mine. And yeah, exactly. Like Matt says, I, yeah, I wouldn't rip the box topper either. It's just, it's just worth too much. I guess it's scared money for them. Or Walter's not even watching either that. But maybe it's not even that. I mean, to be honest, if it was me, I would rip it, to be honest. But I would have myself rip it. So I know there's some people that are like that, too, you know. They prefer to rip it themselves.
If it was like a smaller card, like rip card, like one of these, I would let myself or Joe rip it, you know, whoever the breaker is. But an oversized one, I have to think about that, and then maybe if I, I want to do that one, you know. Chapman and Longoria for the Giants. Giants at Stevens Moody. You wouldn't let Joe do it? I would let him do it. But I tell them to be very careful just so that way. I think the nicer rip they are, people pay a little bit more money for that as well. Some people just go nuts and rip it all off. Alrighty, there you go. Frame mini autograph of Mason Cox, who is an Australian rules footballer. Non sport, there you go. I think that's you, Matt. Hasn't played anything in a while? Oh man. What's up with that, man? Alright, next box. Or next stack, sorry. Not next box. And Clayton Kershaw. LA Dodgers. Oh, did I? Oh well. Well, I'm here tomorrow as well. Maybe I can maybe I can help turn it around, you know. Joe obviously pulls a lot of great heat too. He breaks for a lot of you guys, you know. Sometimes, man, it's just it's just a bad bad streak. Just takes that one break, that one hit to turn it all around. Cause trust me, man, when I actually started like breaking with other people at myself when I first got into like breaking here, like working here at Jaspies back in like 2014, 15. And man, I had no luck anywhere. Like, I would shop around in a lot of places. And not like I would shop around just cause I like the people. I mean, I just did it for price wise, cause you know. I don't have too much money to spend on breaking, but man, my luck was so horrible everywhere. Chris Archer. I don't know why. It just was. But as it became a breaker, um, I was able to pull a lot of nice stuff for a lot of customers. So that's, why pretty, that's, probably, that's one of the main reasons why I don't really break anywhere or break at all anywhere anymore. It's just for that same reason because... To be honest, I get the same thrill <laughs> breaking for you guys. So, like that that box topper, I know it's not mine, but I had the thrill of pulling it for a customer. So, that's more than enough. Damn, well, that was a good way to start. I, I definitely wanted to keep you here, right? <laughs> Besides Joe's personality and all that good stuff that he does. When you pull a one-on-one -on -one at one place, that definitely helps keep that customer here for a while. Which is what I try to do for eBay. For all the eBay customers watching. Even here as well. So I know most of you guys don't really break with me or haven't seen, haven't broken with me. So anytime it's your first time breaking me, I try to pull some nice stuff. All right, no numbered minis here. Let's open up the box loader card. And it's Francisco Lindor for the Indians. That is a cabinet box loader of Francisco Lindor. Indians, Matt, there you go. Let's 
Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh. Oh. I have pulled one of those cabinet autographs, but in eBay, and it was, uh, I forget who it was. So they, they are possible. Yeah, yeah, I used to do, uh, I used to do 10 book breaks when we had it on for a little bit, but I, I did mainly the hockey channel. So now that we're here in our new store, that gives us the opportunity to get back our upper deck license and potentially, you know, have more hockey on the website so I can break some hockey for you guys. It's a whole nother sport that we're missing pretty much here every day on the web on the website. And hockey sells really well on the secondary market as well. This draft class that just passed is really good and the next one's gonna be great. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been with Jazzy for a while. I just kind of, kind of parted ways there for about a year or so, but found my way back to them early this year, and had been talking about coming back together for a while. So glad it finally happened, though. appreciate that yeah I know not a lot of the other people are you know to be honest hockey is kind of its own crowd if you break hockey constantly you pretty much only break hockey I feel like a lot of customers that break football tend to break a lot of baseball you know basketball but for the most part I think every sport's kind of different but hockey definitely it's kind of more of it on its own but it does sell really well though so that's kind of what intrigues customers to uh, want to break hockey And it's a great sport, guys. I mean, if you you can have your certain feelings on hockey, you know, uh, on the sport itself. But I, I, I just tell you, everybody, to go watch a hockey game live. Preferably NHL, just because it's more competitive. But even minor leagues, Mookie Betts for the uh, Red Sox, it, it'll change your perspective. It's so fun. Very, very fun to watch live. And don't be afraid to bring your family. <laughs> you know, even your family will like it, too. This is this is how big. Uh, so I went to. Um, oh, nice! So you're like in Nashville. Oh, awesome. Um, so like, uh, I went to the Kings Ducks outdoor game, the first one they had in California, like ever at the at Dodger Stadium back in like 2013. And um, you know, it was so cool. I was so mad because the Kings lost, but anyhow, you know what was really funny though, guys, is that. We're at Dodger Stadium, you know, playing hockey outdoors. Sold out, you know. I've never seen a Dodger game sold out like that. Every seat was taken. So I don't even know how many is that, like 65, 70,000 people. And um, I kid you not, guys, at the end of the first intermission, the stadium announced that there was no more beer. Literally, no more beer. And... I was just so shocked because I actually went down after the first intermission to go get a beer. And they were like, sorry, we don't have no beers. And everybody's just like, what? No beers? Justin Verlander frame mini. Relic for the Astros. And then people were just like, what are you talking about? How the hell do you guys not have no more beer? And then they're like, well, we didn't anticipate this many people to want to drink, <laughs> to try to want to drink alcohol. And then that's when, like, all these hockey fans are just like, well, I guess we drink more than ba than baseball fans. And then it was funny because, like, I was walking back to my seat, and then I heard someone yell, hey, they have beer, like, in the lower levels. They're just barely bringing them out, but they're they're hot. Like, they're not even cold. And people were legit buying them just hot. I was like, damn, you guys are crazy. 
But I'm serious. I'm serious, guys. I wish I could have recorded it, but yeah, it was it was nuts. I was like, how the hell does Dodger Stadium not run how, run out of beer? So two two intermissions left, or one more intermission left after the second. But I think around after the second intermission, they stopped serving beer. So, but yeah, it was pretty crazy. And we got uh, Sonomo relic. Professional poker player. They go non sport with that one. Uh, you mean here in Los Angeles, EA? Like the city of Los Angeles? Music. Oh, well, I just think they planned. I just think that maybe they thought that, like, we'll just carry this much and it should be enough, maybe. Well, that's kind of, to be honest, Jeremy, that's kind of how it is. A lot of the fan bases here that love the Rams were just like, ah, go back to San Diego. But I think it's cool that they're going to have two teams. Or we have two teams now. And to be honest, the Chargers are really good. So, I mean, yeah, they they already treat the Chargers like the Clippers a little bit. But to be honest, the Chargers are pretty, pretty solid. But when their new stadium opens, guys, it's going to be crazy. Oh, are you here in Los Angeles, Jeremy? Nice. All right, we got Manny Machado. There you go. Next box. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> Chargers go back to San Diego. I don't know. That's going to be a tough rivalry, too. I think the Clippers are going to be really good, but I don't know, man. I I think... Uh, I'm not even a Lakers fan, to be honest. But, I mean, I just, I just rig LeBron fan, but I feel like the Lakers are going to have a better team. And they'll be a little bit better overall. But it's going to be good, though. It's good for basketball. Good for the hobby. But it's going to be fun to see, though. That's cool, man. Yeah, I can't wait for that Los Angeles Stadium to open up, though, because it's going to be so beautiful. Uh, you're going to see Super Bowls hosted there every other year, every other couple years. You're going to see national championships hosted there every every other year, whatever, when it rotates. You're going to see, like, the Pac-12 championship there all the time. So me being a big Oregon Ducks fan, like, it's going to be fun. And actually, the Oregon Ducks are coming down to... Uh, to play USC this year at the Coliseum, so gotta go to that game. Marty, hey, have a good night, man. Talk to you, Mignon, if you pop in. All right, I am getting orders in, guys. I don't know if it's still for certified or what it's for, but we are getting orders in. Are we thinking elements, guys? Are we thinking maybe ultimate football random hits? What, what is it going to be, guys? Maybe optic? I don't know. I mean, optic still has to have a couple teams sold and then obviously the team random, but I think if we're going to get a breakdown tonight, guys, it's going to be that elements.
Apparently. Newcomb. Uh, that's Braves, Mark Glassman. So there you go, Boombox. I don't know. Where is it at now? Is it closer now? It's down to 10 now. John, um, I have personally in, in eBay breaks that I've done of Ellen and Ginter. Uh, I don't know if Joe has on the main channel, but I have pulled an autographed uh, box loader topper. I think it came out in Pigger Team number one or eBay break number one on Jaspi's eBay on YouTube. So if you want to check it out, I think it was a Yadier Molina out of 15, I believe. But I don't think here on the website there has been. Tony Gwynn? Unless Joe has. San Diego Padres. Max with that one. Tyler Glass now. Tampa Bay Rays. Brenda. Yeah, nice. For the twins, frame mini autograph, Eddie Rosario. Daniel Patera. The twins. Yeah, I would love to pull a wood card. That's one of the only mini wood card. And only one of the minis I haven't pulled yet. I pulled a metal card uh, before. I pulled, I think, a Sterling Castro metal card. Those are one of three, which is crazy. Um, but a wood card would be nice. Jacob DeGrom. Oh, did he really? That was nice. Yeah, those metal cards are cool. There you go. Well, you weren't here when we pulled this one, that's why. We used it for the oversized rip card. <laughs> but I'm just waiting for the right hit. But it does work. Can't just pull it for nothing, for anything. 
Only for big hits. From my theory is that they don't have to be out of five. You know, like my horn will sound for any big hit. You know, that's huge in a break or that you know get a customer some good money back. I know, I haven't pulled any of those. The only thing I did pull on an eBay break finally was one of those, um, I think I pulled a lasso. Uh, I forget who, who's lasso, but it was pretty cool. I know Joe pulled like Thor's like hammer, which is pretty cool. Alright guys, next box. Alright, Martinez for the Red Sox. JD. Alright, Garrett. Have a great night, man. <laughs> I have no idea. I think it was regular Thor. I don't think it was Natalie Portman version. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Nah, I, I think it was a, I think it was an old one. I don't even think they showed Thor. I think they, they just showed like the, the hammer. I think that's all it was. That's funny though. <laughs> like Hercules' club. Pull something like that. <laughs> that's funny. You guys have seen. Avengers Endgame already, right? <laughs> I feel like it's really now we can kind of spoil it now. Like, Fat Thor was hilarious. Alright, here we go. Rip card, keep it or rip it. Cabrera, 31 of 75 for Detroit. Boombox, there you go. I think you, I think you have the... Detroit Tigers have a chance to get a red mini autograph an exclusive mini parallel an exclusive mini wood parallel a mini metal parallel or a one of a kind sketch card there you go you let me know if you want to rip it You, you want me to rip it? Oh, wow. Pressure. Now that I actually get a chance to rip one, I'm nervous. I need a conf confirmation, though. Confirm. <laughs> I mean, even the short prints, they'll sell for like 30, 40 bucks, right? Oh, snap. He's like, give what the, give, give the people what they want. <laughs> Crazy. All right, we'll do it right now after this box. Woo! <laughs> yeah, what's up, Rex Fat Door? <laughs> I really would love to see uh, like a Guardians of the Galaxy three with Thor with them. You know, him and uh, him and <laughs> him and Peter <laughs> Peter Quill. I think it is uh, really funny.
Yeah, he still has to be Fat Thor though. Yeah, he can't. He can't be Buff Thor no more. Like, just can't. All right, let me check on these minis. See the oversized box topper, and then we're gonna rip open boom boxes. Miguel Cabrera. Exciting. Mookie Betts. Boston Red Sox. Josh Proust. All right, you ready, Boombox? Again, just to confirm, are you are you ready? And do would you like this ripped? I'm gonna stand up for this one. All right. Let's do this. Got to be careful. I don't want to mess it up. At the same time, you can always resell this as well. To Mark McGuire. Oh, is that a mini? Oh, it is a mini. There you go. So, yes, it is just a little sharp printed mini. But very, very nice, though. I know, it's like surgery. I just didn't want to damage too much. That's all it was. But there you go. I think anything over what 350 is short printed or 300. One of those, one of those things. I think we got some packle top loaders coming tomorrow. But there you go. Old school Mark McGuire. Very, very young right there, right? And then I'll put this rack in here and then we'll put in a top loader. And I'll make sure that it goes out to you still right here. Alright, so no autograph unfortunately, but still pretty nice though. All right, so there you go. Put it in here. And then I'll make sure that this goes with you as well. Alrighty, cool. I don't think the I don't think the Miguel Cabrera was selling for that much. You guys looked it up just to see. I think most rip cards at least go for like 60, over $65, right? Depending on the player, it can go for more. Oh, do they have overlapping numbers? Well, I mean, if you decide to sell it, 
boom box. You could just obviously state in your item description or something that was a uh, rip card uh, mini short print, you know, so that way they can kind of notice if they don't realize it by then. All right, well, there's not many people watching, but if you were part of the 25, 26 watching, you just seen a rip card open. Uh, 375 was that rip card Griffey, but it's also the short print mini for another person. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, we still have one more rip card though, so we'll see what we can get out of here. I thought that was my phone, but it's actually the, <laughs> it's the damn commercial. It's like double good. You get a Babe Ruth rip card and then you get open it up and get a Hank Aaron. That's still pretty bold, even just ripping open a Babe Ruth. Because you would think, like, if it's Babe Ruth rip card, it's really. I don't know. I feel like some, my logic is like if it's a good player, there's nothing in there that's good, right? If they're. If it's a bad player. It's like, that's when you think they're just good stuff. Exactly, right? Matt's like, ripping a root, that's what I'm called. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you're... You ain't afraid of nothing. <laughs> if you're gonna rip a, rip, a Ruth car. Robinson. Oh, Jason Veritek. Very nice. Framed mini autograph for the Boston Red Sox. That's Josh Pruce. Nice. There you go, Tops Artist. Say two. Non sport with that one.
on. So Rex says, here's a question for everybody. Only need the gold out of 50. Uh, good bowman, Colonel Paper to complete my rainbow. I finally found eBay, but someone graded an auction. Should I get the other grade? Should I get the other grade or just crap? Well, that, yeah, because, I mean, you can, if all the other ones aren't graded, it's going to look kind of weird when you throw a rainbow out there, right? One graded card and none of them graded. I think it all just depends because like wh okay what's gonna kill you rex is that oh it's a psa okay what's gonna kill you though is that like if you grade all your other ones and like what if they're all like i don't know psa 10s and then you have one nine <laughs> and it's gonna kill you you're like oh man which i feel like a rainbow not ungraded feels more better and i think more people would like it that way because i feel like if if one of them's gr if one of them's graded higher than the others or you know one of them's lower than all the others it's gonna gonna kill like somebody inside they'd have to be all graded like nines or they have to be all graded tens or whatever it is the grade that you want it to be all right guys four more boxes left so if i was you rex if it took you that long to find that card, I would probably just crack it open. But that's that's like kind of the way I see it. All right, last four boxes. All right, guys. Well, look, it's already 9.30. Again, our new schedule is going to be 2 to 10. So technically, we're off air in about 30 minutes. But, of course, I don't mind staying late. A little extra if there's a break you guys would like to fill by 10 o'clock. So once I get done with this, I was thinking elements. I don't know how long that break is. But if it fills, I'll break it tonight. So... What are we thinking of, guys? Do we still want to do another break? I have orders coming in. I just don't know what they're for. They could be for more certified. Um, that's what I'm thinking of. I feel like certified is the thing that's selling. Which is not a problem. You know, certified is coming out on Wednesday, so... People just pre-ordering that. But yeah, Matt, hopefully I can get you some nice stuff for the Yankees or non-sport. I feel like there's still four boxes, so it's kind of like not super time to want to panic yet. But I feel you, though. I, you know, Yankees in the last one and non-sport was pretty solid. Getting all those non-sport autographs and stuff. But I don't think we really hit a big autograph yet, so that's good. That's the good thing, is that... I don't think we've hit a big autograph yet. And obviously, yes, we did get one of those oversized uh, rip box toppers. But at the same time, so did we did last time. Unless last case was just monstrous. <laughs> Unless it's just so monstrous last case. But I'm hopeful that we can kind of replicate last case if not top it. You know what I mean? So there's still at least 12 more hits hiding in here. And one more rip card at that too. So that's the good thing. Not too sure, Rex. Not too sure why they never made it. I just feel like sometimes maybe for certain sports, certain products just don't do well. But I think I think what helps is like Chronicles helps, since they created Chronicles and just put all you know, you know, like products that certain sports don't have anymore or they don't create. I think that kind of helps as well. I remember when Chronicles came out, what, was first year, last year with baseball? It was like nuts. Everybody was like, wow, I want Chronicles, I want Chronicles. All right, Fallon. All right, 
Amora. Chicago Cubs. Jim with that one. Ooh, Kansas City Royals rip card, and it's George Brett, 32 of 75. Rip it or keep it. Have a chance to pull a red, a red mini autograph card, an exclusive mini parallel, an exclusive mini wood parallel, exclusive mini metal parallel, or a one-of-a-kind sketch card. So Kansas City Royals, that's Jeffrey S. I do not know if you're watching Jeffrey. But Boombox ripped one of his rib cards earlier. I don't know if you want to follow in his footsteps. Give the people what they want, as, <laughs> as Mark did. But there you go. It's here. And if you want to rip it, you'll have to the end of the break. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe since this case hasn't been as fire as the last one, maybe there's an autograph like rip card in there or like a wood mini to make up. I mean, we don't know yet, though. There's still four boxes, but... That can always be the case too. You never know. Or like the box, like rip card is just like super loaded. <laughs> oh wow, we got a glass card, stained glass coming up. And I'm four for four on those stained glass cards per case. In my four cases I've ripped, I've gotten one stained glass card per case. Actually, two in one case, actually, two, I think. There is Butcher, comedian, for non sport. And we got Trey Turner. Washington Nationals. They go, uh, Jim. Yeah, I think it was so great of them to produce that, that set. This is the first year they did that, right? Because I, I have never seen them in the past. I've seen the silk cards and stuff like that, but never seen stained glass like that. Or metal at that. So, really, really smart of them to do that. And they sell really well, too. Yeah, that's what I figured. Cabrera. Detroit Tigers. So there you go, Boombox. That'll help with the rip. Got a Miguel Cabrera. N43 box loader card coming your way as well. All right, three boxes to go, guys.
Does it really? So those are real, right? I heard Joe talking about that. So can you literally plant one of those cards? If so, I want to try one. Can somebody try it and see if it does work? <laughs> Keep it or plant it, yeah. And does it plant into whatever plant card it is as well? Okay, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to, yeah. They say the, the seed is, like, obviously in the card as it's grinded in there, right? I mean, the, the plant cards do look a little different, so. And the, the texture feels a little different, too. <laughs> and I know, right? Didn't <laughs> exactly, right? We're like, false advertisement. What the hell's going on here? Mazara for Texas. Boombox, there you go, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, I think that's what Joe said. I heard him say that too. Yeah, I believe him. I mean, if Top says it's it's, it's plant, it turned into, you know, it's plantable. I guess you should be able to do it. I would just does it say how long it's gonna take? <laughs> I got a lot of backyard space that so I can plant one of these. See if it works. Wow, we got an Altuve for Houston, and it's autograph 24 of 25. Very nice. Houston Astros, Walter. Man, Walter, what a break for you. We got the Altuve oversized box topper to 65, and an Altuve frame mini to 25. Damn. Look at that. Have yourself a break. There you go, there's one of these ones right here. Yeah, like I said, it does feel different. Oh, only the short prints are plantable? These aren't all plantable? I thought they were all plantable. Oh, I'm mistaken then. The egg. Martinet, voice actor, video game voice actor. Nowadays, yeah. <laughs> you li oh, so is this it right here? This one feels different. Oh, there you go. There's a short print. Plan it or keep it. So we did pull a short print. There you go. Has a little smell to it too. <laughs> there you go. So black-eyed Susan. 
So yeah, plant it or keep it. Plant this card and watch it grow. Yes. Awesome. There you go, Matt. Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Atlanta Braves. Just a cabinet box loader. Oh, I would love to pull Posty. You know what's funny though? I've I seen Post Malone when he was first coming up, you know, when he came out with White Iverson. I think he legit only had like three songs out. Like White Iverson, uh, uh, I think he had Too Young and like one other song. I seen him at the Palladium at like a monster, like a concert thing with a, what's the other artist? I forget his name, but whatever. He was like opening up for him, right? And he legit, like I only had those three songs. So what's funny is that he came out with White Iverson. That's the first song he came out to. Then he sang Too Young. And then one more song. I forget who it is. When, which one it was and legit his set was over and he goes he's just like you know y'all wanna F with uh, with White Iverson again I'll play it again and everybody's like yeah 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 so he literally performed White Iverson like twice it was so funny <laughs> damn Rex Jesus Another one's gonna be like a <laughs> eat me, <laughs> eat it. <laughs> it's gonna be <a> edible. <laughs> Next time it is gonna be a plant card, but not that kind of plant you wanna. <laughs> Oh man, that'd be. I think that would sell so well. But you know what? OJ would legit want to come and murder everybody that gets a piece of that glove. Or he'll hunt it down saying, That's mine. That's mine. It's, it's similar, William. It's just Upper Deck's version. So, Tops was Allen and Ginter, and then Goodwin Champions is Upper Deck. Allen and Ginter, I think, is a little bit more popular just because it's been around longer, but... Goodwin Champions is pretty good, though. That one's fun. And that's pretty much the only Upper Deck product where you have a really good chance pulling some really nice, like, patch autographs with Jordan, LeBron, all those exclusive... Um, all those exclusive players. And then, of course, they get... Like Luka Doncic in there, Shohei Otani in there. So good one, Champion is actually a really good one. But we didn't really get much because, like I said, we weren't Upper Deck uh, Diamond Dealer yet just because we were switching stores. But now that we are going to be here now, uh, we should be able to get our license back soon. And then maybe next year's good one, Champions will have some of that. But good one, Champions, though, is not a specific sport, though. It's just legit everything. It's not, it's not like they feature, like, let's say, hockey and then there's miscellaneous stuff. It's just, like, all miscellaneous stuff. So, the cool thing about, obviously, Allen and Ginter is that's still a lot of, uh, still mostly baseball in that sense, but they also have non-baseball. And, yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, you got Tiger in there, King Dre, LeBron, Jordan, Simmons, all those other exclusive athletes that are upper deck, Gretzky. But the good thing, like the cool thing, the Ultimate Champions is just it's all just multiple sports, it's not just one. The 
That was good when champion cards are pretty, <laughs> pretty weird too. They had some really good Jordan patch autographs in there with like the Jordan sign, like patch auto in there. It was sweet. I don't know, guys. What's next? Remember, guys, we start. We start, our new schedule now is from two to ten. So technically, it's supposed to be going off right now in about ten minutes. But again, you guys know me. I don't mind staying and breaking longer, but you guys need to try to fill something quickly. Reed Foley started the stream at two o'clock today. Blue Jays. Toronto Blue Jays. Bill, there you go, man. This breaks a little bit better for you, man. Yes, sir. I started at 2 o'clock. Same thing with Joe. I think Joe's going to start at two, 2 to 10 as well. But I don't mind staying after Joe. I mean, you know me, man. I... I'm, I'm, I don't deny a break if it's close. If it's like 25 spots away, then I'm going to deny it. But if it's close enough, like elements, I'll break it. Rosario? Yeah, I think Certified is releasing on Wednesday. I think there's another two, three products. But I don't know if Nick has posted them here or is going to post them maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Get better, not worse. <laughs> In bloom. Non sport, right there. Piece of the sweater of a professional poker player. No, but the thing is that a lot of our customers actually, uh, you know, a lot of our customers actually tend to buy really early and there's been times obviously it just depends on the time of the week time of the day but there's been times where you know after like 10 o'clock it's pretty much dead you know so it's more like let's start a little earlier you know with customers in the east coast you know at a, like you know getting out of work by the time two o'clock happens and then have an extra hour breaking early rather than have an extra hour breaking late because obviously sometimes there are breaks that are feeling late but then most of the time it's really not that late Uh, that is very true. <laughs> the wives are sleeping. <laughs> Guess what now, Rex? You can actually work an extra hour. So what are you talking about, man? You get to work an extra hour now at work instead of watching Jaspies. Weekly. <laughs> Bryce Harper, Philadelphia Phillies. No, I'm just joking. No, I'm just saying because like now that we won't be on, <laughs> we won't be on to eleven. You can actually get some work done at work, All right? True that. True that. Yeah, it's some of the. Well, depending on the sport, yes. But, see, that's the thing. Like, I love living on the West Coast. Because guess what? For football on Sundays, I wake up at 10, football's on. Football's on from 10 to 1 to 5. By 8 o'clock, it's done. East Coast is just like, you have to wait till 1. And then, yeah, like the last game's like 8 or 9. But, yeah, I mean, I think that's why some West teams go... You know, not talked about sometimes depending on the sport because all the East Coasters are just sleeping. I like, just imagine the games that start like at 7 o'clock at night, East Coast, it's already like 10. It's like, damn.
Oh, do you really? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, that city never sleeps. I know, Rex. So that's funny, right? Like, I love SNL, and I used to have to wait till 11 o'clock because of you guys over there on the East Coast. Jeez. You guys over there on the East Coast. It's not fair that you guys had to wait till 11 o'clock, so we have to wait till 11 o'clock. But now Saturday Night Live is actually legit live now. Eastern and Western time, you know, or Pacific time. So actually, I gotta watch it at 8 o'clock, <laughs> which is better. Eric, uh, it's on the website. Everything is sold out but the Pick Your Team uh, spot random, which is at 10. This needs to sell out so we can do elements. Again, guys, look, our schedule's cha our schedule changed starting today from 2 to 10. So technically, we're supposed to be going off air right after this. But, again, you guys know that if there's a break close, I will break it if it fills. But we're going to need to sell some spots in the element. Pick your team number 5 spot random if you guys want to do it tonight. SNL was the best. With oh, man, I love... I miss Chris Farley. I love him in Tommy Boy. It's like one of my favorite movies. I actually recently re-seen the Adam Sandler SNL that he hosted this year. <laughs> and I love the Adam Sandler family reunion. Where, you know, some of the some of his uh, Sandler cousins are like, you know, some of his characters in his movies. I just, I just started laughing again so hard when I first seen it when, what's his name? One of his cousins, I forget her na his name, but <laughs> based it off of like Bobby Boucher. She's like, that, 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 that character over there. He's like, no, Bobby Boucher was not based off of you. No, no, no. I was talking about, like, B Big Daddy. <laughs> Price? Chris Sale. Yes, last box, guys. Ah, uh, very, yeah. <laughs> that was rough. But, I mean, it just goes to show you, though, like, I don't know if you, have you guys, I'm sure, if you did like Chris Farley, you guys seen the documentary, right? I am Chris Farley. I mean, it's just so sad, you know, but at the same time, like, a lot of his friends that really cared about him, you know, just, like, I remember Adam Sandler talking about, like, hey, man, you need to cool it, you need to chill, you know, like, it's not good for you. I thought it was so crazy that Chris Farley dated that girl that came out in Tommy Boy. <laughs> you know, the one that David Spade was, like, checking out on the window? Oh, nice, Rex. But yeah, no, it was, uh, it's crazy, like, I don't know, sad. Ichiro. Yankees edition of Ichiro. There you go, Yankees frame mini relic. But yeah, I know Adam Sandler really, you know, cared about him, so that's why he continues to like honor him. Burnett. Yeah, the only way we're going to break elements, guys, is we have to fill up that team random. It's the only way we're breaking it. Pet it. All right, last box, guys. Yeah, that's true, though. I mean, unfortunately. Ron Healy relic. Seattle Mariners. John.
over us. Oh, really? Yeah, no, he... I mean, I never got to see him in person, but... He was, uh... Pretty big. All right, last little hit right here, guys. And it's a Mike Trout. Not an autograph, but just a cabinet box loader. And there you go, guys. That was the break. Uh, again, this case was still pretty solid, of course. Our last case was pretty good, but uh, we still got some very nice hits. Uh, we got the sharp printed in bloom that you can actually plant it or keep it. Got a little glass of Trey Turner. Framed mini autograph of Eddie Rosario. A numbered uh, mini, Dreschel. American Ninja Warrior, 18 of 25. Got a couple relics and autographs, of course. Ron Healy. It's more of the recent ones you guys have just seen. Blue Jays. There you go, right there. Marnet, we got Altuve at a 25 frame mini relic. Autograph, sorry. Omara, rip card of Brett jo or George Brett. Sato, Veritek autograph. Lester, Cox, Martinez, Glass now. Tony Gwynn, relic. Newcomb, uh, Bonomo, Verlander, Bettis, Archer, Kershaw, Cox, uh, which is an American. Australian, sorry, rules footballer, frame mini autograph, Longoria bat relic, Herrera, Nemo, autograph, Smoke, Albies, Smith, Rosario, Knight, Arenado, Ian Happ, and then we did get on second rip card that Boombox actually ripped open, so we got to see that it's a rip card of Cabrera at a 75, ripped open. And then I just wrote on the top loader, so in case the post-it note comes off. But the card is safe. It's in a penny sleeve. There you go. It's a mini Mark McGuire that came out of that rip card. So there you go. And then we did pull an oversized box topper rip card for the Houston Astros. We got himself a great break, Walter. You guys want to see it again? One of 65, Jose Altuve. It's the second one today. We pulled a Bryce Harper, number two, uh, number five. So there you go. Very, very solid break again. Appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Not sure if we're going to have more, but if we do, check out the website. Have a great night, everybody.